Bienvenidos, raza. Bienvenidos al programa de Puro Conjunto S.A. con Lupe Sainz, South Texas Conjunto Association, y su mero servidor, el tacuache, Mark Weber, a sus órdenes. No se equivoquen, este es el tacuache, yo soy Lupe Sainz. Ya, yeah, pues, yeah, you know the deal. All right, pues, uh, seguimos con más información en este programa con educación, y estamos aquí para servir la comunidad, pero la educación va a servir la comunidad también. Ok, y vamos a discutir algo de educación entre este programa y también vamos a disfrutar la música como siempre. Y hablando de música, let's start with this number coming up right now en el programa Puro Conjunto. Ese. Ese, aquí vamos.
les gustó ese número, that was a great number, good presentation. That's what we're all about. We're about Conjunto Music de San Antonio. And, oye, Mark, I was going to ask you, you say, you're, where'd you learn your, how to play your music? Well, I learned from Valerio Longoria, Benny Medina, también uh, Larry Guevara, and Tony Escalante here in San Antonio. Tony, es these people are, are long-time musicians, pero, you know, today we talk to musicians and they say, but we learned to play uh, literally, lyrical. What do you mean, lyrical? Que they don't know how to read music. Is it important to know how to read music, to play music? Well, I think a person has a better chance if they know how to read music. I don't myself. I just was uh, taught note by note. And so, uh, you know, I think if a person has a little education from the music, then they, they, they're a little bit better, uh, have a step up on it. Yeah. Okay, because speaking of which, ahorita que vengan los patras, when we come back after this number, we're going to be talking to el doctor. You said those two alemanes, okay. one here and another one coming up. coming up. We'll be talking to him ahorita. Coming up after this number. All right. Con puro conuto ese. Ese, aquí vamos.
grabación recorded by Valeria Nomaria en 1948 Corona Records del Tacuache, ahorita viene Tacuache, se tuvo que ir a cortar el sacate o Aaron o he's, he's gone somewhere. Los Tacuaches, you never know where they go, se pierden, se meten debajo de los carros y se van. Pero ahorita viene, meanwhile, who are we talking to here? I'm Enrique Alemán Jr., I'm a professor here at the University of Texas San Antonio on the downtown campus. Happy to be on your program. Oye, Enrique, I think I, somewhere I saw, you did a documentary about education. I did. I, uh, I've been researching a court case from 1956 from South Texas, from Driscoll, okay. the Driscoll community. Uh, the, the, just at that time, they were putting Mexican-American kids into three levels of first grade. The district was discriminating. It was racist, the way they were, what they were doing. I didn't find out until many years later that my mother was part of that court case, and so I did a documentary of going back to find all those key people that were part of that that court case to try to retell that history. My mother died before I was able to hear the story. She died in 2002, and so my my goal was always to go back and find out and do the research on that history, and so that's what the documentary is about. And what was, okay, what was the main issue here besides, well, uh, they, they were not getting the same education as everybody else or what? No, they were segregating them. If you were a, a Mexican-American, they said, well, you don't know how to speak any English, so we're going to put you in three levels of first grade, beginner, high, low, or low, high. And you had to go through all three? You had to go through all three, no matter if you spoke English also, which all these kids knew how to speak both. They were bilingual, which is a, which is an important thing. 
So that's one way that the district was segregating, discriminating against, against these students. And so the families, my, parent, my grandparents, they, they sued them to change that system. And so my mother was part of that court case as a nine-year-old little girl along with eight little, uh, eight little other kids. So, so there you see, you see how important education is. If this guy wasn't educated, he wouldn't know anything about those things. Eh? Vamos a escuchar el programa, vamos a ir un número para que bailen aquí con la música de puro conjunto de seis. Ahorita continuamos, más música para que sigan bailando. Here we are. Aquí estamos una vez más. Estamos viendo un programa que... We, we want to thank, first of all, UTSA, okay? And you, sir, for taking the time to speak to the people here in San Antonio about the importance of education. Ya estamos viendo qué importante es la educación. ¿Y qué pasa si no te educas? Like the documentary that you did, you found out a lot of things about the importance of education y por qué se queda atrás la gente, ¿verdad? Absolutely. I think one of the things I wanted to do, too, is for the young kids today to know that th these are the people that we come from, the strong families back in the day in the 1950s and 1960s, people who worked with their hands in the, in the fields, who didn't have the same opportunities. We need to know, our kids need to know that history so that they, it makes them stronger and then it gives them a sense of responsibility to, to continue on. And that's part of what I think, that's what, that's what I think Conjunto Music does, too, because that's the, that's the music of the fields, it's the music what our families really listen to, and we, we can't afford to forget and honor that uh, that's where we come from, our roots. Conjunto Music is indigenous. It's, uh, Conjunto Music to South Texas would be like the blues to uh, Chicago or jazz to New Orleans. Aquí es indigenous. No, I, I agree, I agree, and uh, to me it, it reminds me a lot of visiting my grandparents and, and the stories that you hear and, and just learning from them. Uh, from talking with them about their experiences and so I think whether it's the documentary or it's music or it's not honoring those types of traditions is very very important to our kids today and we have to do everything that we can like your program like the association to try to continue to push those opportunities for for young people. Dr. Enrique Alemán, thank you very much sir. Yes sir, thank you. Vamos a continuar el programa, un número más y a rato regresamos con Tacuaches, here we go.
cosa el 16 de septiembre es una edad competente para que sepa de amor Órale, ya se nos va a acabar la hora del programa. Thank you very much for being with us. Todos ustedes que nos están viendo. What can we tell the people that que, que miren este programa, que le digan a la raza? Look, this show is on when? Thursday nights. Thursday nights, yeah, 10 o'clock. And where are we about? Where are we right now? We're muy cerca de la calle Cesar Chavez, right here at UTSA downtown. UTSA, very important. It's not the only university here, but it's one of the most important ones. One of the big ones, yes. En raza, education is very important. Um, you, you heard el, el profesor Alemán tell you how important education is para toda la raza para seguir adelante, progresando, 
la gente. Yes. When you know not only formal education is important but also informal education, social education. There's all kinds of education out there that can help out the public. You don't even have to go to a higher university. There's all kinds of uh, of, of different career opportunities you can have with a, an education other than college or university. Right. You know, you got trade school, you got all kinds of schools out there that you can do and further your education. And the more education you have, it seems to be a direct correlation with the amount of money you have. So, si quiere ganar la paca, más educación. Si quiere ganar la paca, métale la pata, vamos al colegio, let's go to school, let's get educated, raza. Nos vamos con esta vez, con este programa, el programa Puro Conjunto. Ese. Ese, aquí nos vamos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again pretty soon with another program. Ahí nos vamos. Bueno, bye. You're watching Puro Conjunto. Ese. Ese. Well, guess what? You're watching Puro Conunto S.A.S.A.